Today we will show you Kamedo. Kamedo is a more silent, off the beaten path, less touristy part of Tokyo. And supporting me is the amazing Dave Trippin. Hey guys, so today we have two halves of a story for you. With Johannes we will explore the neighborhood and as well in my video we will too. So once you get half the story here, come on over to my channel and check out all the other parts that we have to show you. It's linked in the description. We will start at a fantastic shrine, the Kamedo Tenjin. In Kamedo you will see a lot of turtle sculptures and pictures and the origin of this trend is at this shrine because right in front of the shrine is a pond which has lots of turtles. The shrine is known for its abundance of wisteria trees which bloom in the middle to end of April. So if you want to come to Tokyo to see the cherry blossoms a couple of weeks earlier and stay a little longer, Kamedo Tenjin is the perfect destination. The whole place is actually really, really beautiful. So if you're into the whole photography thing, you're going to find tons of shots to frame up here as well. What's not worthy about this shrine is it's surrounded by buildings. People are living here, but it's actually super quiet, as you can hear. Also, you get an incredible view. We can B-roll in for you of the sky tree. So if you want to snap some shots of that in a sort of uncrowded space, this gives you an opportunity. problem with me. He's <laughs> ready to pounce. Another thing to note about Kamedo Tenjin is the amazingly fearless, almost aggressive pigeons. It appears like they spend their time attacking the turtles, which leads to some of them missing a claw or two. They also seem to enjoy interfering with harmless YouTubers. Here Dave's brave girlfriend Eko is filming us while one pigeon decides to land on her head. After having experienced the beauty and wildness of the shrine, it was time for a change of location. Now we are at Kamedo Shotengai. And uh, Shotengai? is a business co-op effectively where all the businesses around here to try and kind of keep some of their old lifestyle have banded together uh, and it's mom and pop shops and you'll find a whole variety of personally owned no big block store kind of stuff when you come to one of these. The area Kamedo is actually known for intestines and dumplings <laughs> and that's why we will go and get some baked goods check out some bakeries. Yes of which they have many. So what did you get? I have the chocolate pie, as I am a huge fan of all things chocolate, and there's a generous amount of that in here. I'm very excited to try Japanese baking. Mm. I need a moment with my chocolate pie. Flaky. Healthy dose, there's not much to say here. Chocolate is delicious, this is delicious. Mm. So I got the tiramisu melon pang. Melon pang uh, actually has the name melon from the form, not from the taste. So this one looks like a melon. Tastes like a tiramisu, maybe. <laughs> so there's a little tiramisu-like flavor on the outside. Mm. Also a little crunchy. Very nice, very easy to eat. Dangerously easy to eat. Mm. Maybe, maybe even a very soft coffee flavor. 
This is the plain, their regular one. That has got to be oh so good. Mmm. Come pick it. It's a perfect minimum pot. <laughs> so crunchy on the outside. And who have on the inside? My my. Now we are at the Julian Bakery and as you may know, Germans do like bread. I'm German, this is a bread. And we also like sausages and that's why there's a sausage inside of the bread. We fulfilled the prophecy. Yeah, essentially. So let's see if it's any good. Two men just enjoying some fresh sausage. <laughs> what do you think? Is it fresh? It's nice, Japanese, actually. Yeah. So usually, the Japanese bread is too soft for me, ah. for my taste. So okay. this one is actually a little bit harder, maybe, a little bit crunchy. And the sauce is also okay. All right. So. I was going to comment on that. Yeah, they're famously fluffy, or fua fua, to express that fluffiness in Japanese. And we've seen a theme here arisen from this Shoten guy. They're famous probably for other things, but they got really, really good bakeries. So if you're looking for sweet treats, Kamedo Shotengai is a place to drop by. Yeah? I'm gonna try some? Okay, thank you. Let's break off a hunk of this. Thank you, sir. Verdict. Oh, yeah. You're right, though. Not, not as fluffy as you might have thought from a Japanese bakery. I hope you enjoyed this little tour through a lesser known part of Tokyo. If you want to see more about Kamedo, about this beautiful area, please check out Dave's video as well. It's linked in the description. Thanks for coming along, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Okay, one more. <laughs> I can't eat any faster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh. Mm. Kamedo is a more silent, off the beaten path, not as touristy part of Tokyo. And supporting me today... <laughs> <laughs> Mikrisa! <laughs> <laughs>